My name is Kevin Choi. My name is Emma Davis. My name is Noelle. My name is Alden Weaver. My name is Cece. I'm a senior CS major from MUD, and I'm part of the Matterport Clinic team. So Matterport is a company dealing with 3D models, and so they provide a camera, and with that camera you can take pictures, and those pictures will be sent to Matterport, and you can get a 3D model from that. And so currently Matterport's users are, you know, people who need it for things like real estate, for business, you know, where it makes sense because the camera is so expensive. We were asked to find a way to feature their product in a way that they've never thought of before. So we choose to create a game in which uh, we feature one of the models that Matterport technology has made for us. They have a specialized camera that is composed of three sets of 2D and 3D sensors. And so what we do with it is we take it and we place it in the location we want to scan. We interact with the camera through an iPad app. And so you would start a scan. This camera rotates on its axis 360 degrees to get information about its surroundings. Then you upload all that data to Matterport servers and then they give you a processed file with the 3D model in it. We were asked to basically take the 3D models from that camera and do something really cool with it. And we wanted to come up with a game that you can only make because you have a real life 3D model. So like rather than a game where it's a kind of like a fabricated area and so you know like they're really pretty models but they're very like it's very much a fictional area. This is a game where we have a model of a real life space. Because of that, we were able to make a game that uses Harvey Mudd. Inside the game, the player is set to be a Harvey Mudd freshman walking around one of the buildings here on campus, and they have to complete a set of objectives to sort of help out the professors. The premise is that things are going wrong at Harvey Mudd, and the player has to correct it. And it's pretty cool because the game is actually on the iPad, and so um, you can actually move around the iPad, and, like, and then you'll be moving around inside the game. And so I actually um, worked on some of the gyroscope movement. In the game, there's an in-app currency of different, we call them flux, but they're gems. And so I was in charge of implementing that system. Some of the features I worked on the most were the inventory and the health bar. So the health bar keeps track of how much health the player has. If they run into any robots, then their health decreases. And there's a hidden vending machine where they can go and get some more health and hopefully survive. I wrote all of the emails, kind of hinting at the story and the tasks the player must do, while at the same time, because this is a game set at Harvey Mudd in particular, then these emails are a parody of real life MUD emails. And so they're kind of inside jokes for the MUD students that might play this. Even though they're not a game company, I think they value this project because it shows what uh, the future of 3D gaming can be using real, real world model. Because currently all the 3D games use fake generated models and really brings it to a, to a new level when we have a game like this that can relate to Harvey MUD student in a way that had never been possible before. As an alumni, I know a little bit about how clinic worked, but I was an engineer, and the engineering clinic is a little different than the computer science clinic. One of the things I loved about this clinic experience was how autonomous the students were. They didn't get a lot of guidance from us, but they really produced a fantastic app.